Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing Ghost Trick, and the last time I actually did like a save for reasons, I don't know, trusting the game once more about taking care of my save. Yeah, last time we went through a whole bunch of complicated madness, but ultimately we're here to learn about the state of her kidnapped girl and the best way to do that is in this new number we have on court the other day. Yeah, so last time, game put a silent, like it broke its own rules and put a silent checkpoint. Which I now realize is to make repeating, like, a bit, take less long, but I didn't know at the time, and it led to some confusion. Yeah. Hey, that's all good. As long as we can all do this tonight, my friend self, self friend, uh, Rock and music. Gosh dang it, seriously. How how comical can the timing be at this point? Alright, a little bit past midnight. Do not feed your mogwai if you can help it. Uh uh-huh. Kidnappers the man, that's right. Just the death of Joey the Oh look at those stars set up. How to visit, see what I can find out about the abduction, and maybe if we can even save the girl, that'd be great, but we'll see what we were able to do. Check it out, we're here. But she can, she's aware of ghosts, though. Alright. Aww. Your poor bike. I'm not a big fan of the kind of gross relationship between these two. Oh, they're here! Ah, in another world, they would have gone shot. <laughs> Alright, so she's in the suitcase. Wait, the suitcase from the other time was Camilla in there then too? Ah, jeez. Had we known. Okay. Yeah, wow, all this time. But, like, I didn't have an open option, sadly. That's not opening, that's ellipses. That's falling asleep. Okay. Whoop. I don't think I've ever been to this room. Well, yeah, it's the... It's set up like the the room in the in the bottom of the basement where, um... Where Lynn got shot. Wait, so it's not in the same place, but it's just set up identically? Like, I find that a little bit silly. Alright, let's look around. We got this thing we can open. We can burn brighter. Whoosh! I can just decide to do that and put that on fire. Is that gonna do anything? Whoop! Oh, see that'll get me closer as soon as I have the ability to do things again. Yeah, star constellation. Oh, and I can swing too. Here we go. Swing it up! Swing style. Whoa! Man, we are riding in style. That lets me get here. I can go here. I can even lower. Or I can do like a whole bunch of stuff here. Like, uh, like, rock the suspended shelf, uh, yeah, that's right, rock it. Very exciting, I can move you. That's right, that little sideways spin for you and me. Alright, you can lower, okay, because you're one of those things. Oh, uh, I went to this crate, and then you said darn. Yeah, that's what we're working about. Working around. Don't worry about it. You're skipping steps here, I find, here. Cecil. The dog. Alright, so... So what I can do... Like, why? what does that mean? If I rock... Rock here, that just doesn't do anything. And on the clock... Like, the clock does not let me trick anything. No tricks on this clock. All right. So from you, I can 
Well, I can go here. I can spin faster. That's exciting. Um, which made that little ball roll. What does that mean? Was I supposed to be on the little ball? I mean, I can go here now. The ball- oh, I can, uh, hit the ball with you. Okay, ballo rollo. Now let's us go here. That's my favorite verb of all time. Go. Like, this is like a... a maze maneuvering puzzle. I like that. It's really silly. Alright, and from here we can go crate, no, through. That means we can go on toy, we got fire pop, we got K, we got fire pop, pop, we pop, pop to rock. So you, I can use you to... Basically, it's just to cycle up and down, it looks like. And even then, like, you didn't stay up there. You, like, you immediately went back down, and I did not have a chance to, like, change anything about it. Alright, party pop, pop time pop, pop. Okay. That's hanging around. That's gonna hit someone. Now I wonder... It, oh, wait, wait. If I make the toy go up, it's gonna get caught in the string. That's the reality of mankind right here. Like, is that something we want to happen? It didn't get caught. It did not get caught. Okay. There's another pop. Another pop, party pop. Should I just pop it and see what happens? Might as well. Pop! Oh, it got caught up there. What does that mean? I wonder if... Okay, I'm gonna read this one. So yeah, so what I'm wondering is... Because I can't roll you or anything. I don't know, maybe I can like move you and like pull? Pull on the confetti? No, I can't. Oh, you're being real fun with the timing, huh? Alright, there we go. Is that gonna be good enough? It sure is. Alright, so just gonna whoosh this around. You gonna hit anything? Surprisingly, no. Alright then. Maybe. I think it stopped going nuts, though. No. But no, yeah, like, it stopped. It stopped going fast as soon as I left, I guess. <sighs> Just a case of having done something in a wrong order at some point, do you think? The issue being, like, I have no idea what it could be, but it's very possible. I don't really know what to do at this point. Wait a second, uh, maybe I can burn the thing swishing around. If I make it go wilder, yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. E yes, okay. All right, we got the raging spinning fire here going on. That thing just flew off. Could have hurt that box because it flew right in the direction of that child box. Alright, so now, okay, I think I see what's gonna happen. I'm going to make that flame raise, and then I'm gonna make that string raise, and that's going to... Oh, I can't make that flame stronger, but hopefully that's enough. And that's gonna light the candles. It sure will. Okay, alright, and then I can move that to the side. Uh, because that's not dangerous at all in the slightest. Uh, uh. Alright, so I can move you to the side. 
Ooh, can't believe my- Oh, we're gonna- Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Clock town. And clock gives me the way to get closer. There we go. Just his imagination. He has a lot of imaginations. Uh, all right, trunk, open up. Yeah, small child. You're the wrong child. <laughs> You're Camilla. <laughs> they kidnapped the wrong kid. <laughs> or I completely, no, 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 no. His kid is the sick kid, right? I mean, Sissel wouldn't know. Hmm. Well, it's too late to just ask her to get out of here, I guess. Now she thinks he just did his job and made a mess at the same time. Awkward for everyone. Oh, she's got even like a little thing for her drink. Wow, bread and milk, just going all out here. This is high society criminals. <laughs> Fair. There would, looking at the shape of that, 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 that trunk, I don't know if there'd be a lot, enough room for a person. That doesn't matter. Like, this is a pretty cartoony place. Yeah, don't install this house. Oh. Really? Hmm. Okay. But, and there's a reproduction of this in that, that junkyard zone, home, place. Well, you are home. That's the irony. Maybe he has two kids? The minister guy, whatever? Alright, I think our goal now here is to talk with Camilla. Yeah, wait a second. Have you died? No, yeah, 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 we did save her. Yeah. Remember? Way back then, way at the start of the game? It grew... wait. There's another ghost? Is there... is there an Cecil? Alright, no, yeah, you don't have to ask me there. I'm just as curious. So let's examine the flower book. It's, it's the memoir of Daisy. Daisy Serhasarela. Oh, you know. Just, just look at the excitement in her facial expression and hairstyle. Whoa! Mind invasion. Missile saved her! Missile mind spoke to her as a ghost. Something? I'm going all over the place here. I'm jumping to conclusions left and right. Yeah, you forgot. You can't think in the mind. Communication would actually be a nightmare if you couldn't unfilter everything you're thinking. Like, it's very lucky they're having relatively orderly conversations. That would make sense, like, it wouldn't be unique. Wow. That probably doesn't read the way it reads in the original language. Hey, what do you feel about kidnapping? Yeah, Dead End Drive was just the address all the time. I'm not sure why that got me so confused for so long. Park, eh? Temsic. Temsic is a. Like, that's a type of people that are being hunted down, right? I remember that, because it's Kismet backwards. 
Like, it was just like a throwaway line said way early in the game. Oh, dude, music box in the park. We need to make a detour there, but let's ask about her. Mother is gone. Okay, so that's what I thought. You are, uh, Joyd's daughter. Yeah, they kidnapped the wrong person. Or they did kidnap her and that's why he's, I don't know. Or maybe they kidnapped two people. Just kidnap all the children. Okay, okay, then the, like a, like a sister makes sense. They're very close people in, in this family. This all, uh, this all adds up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, I uh, could have, let's ask about that music box. <laughs> In the bushes at the park. Okay. Alright, fair enough, because I gotta get in there. I gotta get on that. What about we just not- Alright, so, meanwhile, five years ago... <laughs> oh, that's silly. The birthday country- Wait, you set that up? The whole, like, Rube Goldberg machine? Got in our hands a little, uh... A little Home Alone genius, including the gun. That is wild. But why did you why did you set up the gun? Camilla, what are you doing? Okay. And that lady just sits there, light linded. I mean, to be fair. Oh wow. That's so weird. That's so silly how it resets like that. But what was your plan? <laughs> like, what was up with the Cupid being lifted up and all that? Like, what what was the goal of that? <laughs> so, this was all, I think, recreated by that science man in, that lives in the junkyard. He recreated the scene for some reason. I mean, this now explains the whole aesthetic and the vases playing like it it all makes a lot of sense now but wow this little lady is like an absolute genius though still wow okay lots of stuff being explained for once That is pretty tragic. It's one of the weirder episodes of CSI. Well, she'll know. Yeah, Cecil, you are such an absolute buffoon. Info has been added, by the way. All right, get her out, huh? Wonder how we plan on doing that. Yeah, I, well, there has to be a 24/7, like, non garage, gross gas station. There you go. That's the word. Hmm, 
wait a second, so I was positing that Cecil's the one that set up the meeting with them, because that fits with them having the meeting time. So is Cecil connected with this? He's the one that would have chosen this place. He's aware, possibly, of the whole... This everything here. Hmm. Okay, so we have some explanations, but they're just replaced by other questions. So, you know, this is good mystery writing. Ah, and she knows, she knows we're here. She knows it's haunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been established. Fair. I guess. Again, like, we- this- this is a world where ghosts are just a thing. So, like, you know, it could be that someone would be able to sense ghosts. And it wouldn't be a charlatan. It would just be a thing. Oh, that is an ah, oh, but her book. No, no, dude. Also, put some wheels on that thing. Ah, uh, that's a sad. Like, he acts so nice, but he's really not. Oh, the book is where I live right now. That's right. That's why it dropped. That makes sense. That's so well done. <laughs> oh, man. Well, she will soon. As soon as we go into Mind Melt, Willer, you're just gonna spoil everything out. I mean, I feel like... I, I feel it's realistic that there would be some people out there who would know about this. Like, I just think it's logical. Look at that! We fit a whole chapter in this thing. In this video. In a very comfortable size and everything. What happened? I'm not complaining. I'm just... Wow, okay, alright then.